We tried Norton SG grits and they didn't work. Our salesman swears by it, but we haven't had any luck. Why? Norton SG grits, also called ceramic grit, sometimes referred to as sol gel, seeded gel, SG, micro fracturing, a lot of different names uh, people call this. And it just means that the grits in the wheel, usually maybe 10%, 30%, 50%, not all of them, but some fraction of them, have a little micro structure, little micro fracturing microstructure. So instead of having one grit has maybe three or four crystals, that one grit has billions and billions of crystals. But because of that, the billions and billions of crystals, the fine microstructure makes, makes it really tough. So if we're gonna get that guy to fracture in little pieces, which is the way we've designed this guy, we're gonna have to beat on him pretty hard because he's so tough. If we don't beat on him hard, he's just gonna become dull and generate a lot of heat. But if we do beat on him hard, kinda like in the picture here, we get the guy fracturing in little bits and pieces at the surface, so he's micro-fracturing, he's not wearing away too quickly, he's maintaining sharpness. Now, as we know, how do we be more aggressive in grinding? How do we have a bigger chip thickness? Slow down your wheel speed, increase your feed rate, or take a deeper depth of cut. Any of those, or all of those, or some combination will put a bigger force on your grits and get those guys to self-sharpen better.